But we've had all this urban growth. Um, it ultimately is the single biggest factor that's causing our flooding issues. Um, I think that's a reasonable statement to make. Um, we, through that process, we've degraded, you know, long-time wetlands and, and um, uh, ground rechart water areas. Uh, we've paved over some of them. The, uh, and as we've done all that, we have increased uh, the, the speed at which stormwater events, waters, reach these various riverways. And um, of course, with it comes sediment, with it comes pollutants, you know, with it comes uh, the, the normal bad stuff you get wrong. And um, unfortunately, uh, there is there has been no funds available to smaller communities and counties to implement stormwater management practices. Um, the city of Aldosta, once it met the MSA status by federal statute, we were required to implement them. And um, through it, we implemented a stormwater uh, management fee that all citizens pay. And uh, we now manage our stormwater we're getting better and better at it. We have a plan, and we're in the process of implementing that plan. But as an example here recently, the, the recent storm event that we had, the I drove by Mill Pond, if you're familiar with the old Mill Pond in Valdosta. The city acquired that through our stormwater program, and it now belongs to the city. We dredged it out to increase its capacity, holding capacity, and manage its water levels as, as we prepare for stormwater events. Recently, when um, during the storm event that we had, I was on my way to a neighborhood okay, that was Sarah, affected by like? the flood okay. and noted that there was absolutely okay, no water coming over the, the dam wall of Mill Pond, but yet okay, water was rising in this neighborhood. And a clear indicator that you know, a lot of our storm water, we're holding, we're managing our storm water, but our flood waters are coming from the river, which mm -hmm. the river is not even inside the city limits of the city of Alaska. The, um, so, one of the things we want to try and be an advocate for, and we hope y'all would be an advocate for, is for the state uh, and federal governments to start making available to some of the more rural communities monies to start implementing storm management programs. Um, it's 